Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, welcome back to Full Hilt. Now this is a new version of the game. Um, the dev apparently updated it to fix some bugs and make some minor changes. Two changes I noticed right off the bat. Um, the title screen theme is different. It's now an 8-bit theme, which I find kind of interesting. Um, and secondly, the resolution of the game is like a little bit less vertical. I don't know what the significance is there, but I did have to like redo some options in OBS. But regardless, uh, let's just move on. Um. Another, uh, another, um, I gotta turn the volume down, hold on a sec. Uh, a couple other changes, oh, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> the, uh, health and magic are now segmented. Um, I know that, like, apparently that blocking bug is now fixed, and, um, also, um, apparently one of the characters got a redesign? Let's see if I can recognize that. Finally, we found you, my lord. Yes, well, uh, well done, Lunacore. I was beginning to worry about you. Sorry about that. Stuff outside of our control. Armion, you're almost there. Is that the voice again? Why are we hearing voices? Are you alright, young Lunacor? You seem distressed. No, sir, everything is fine. Above. I'm waiting for you above, dear. Well, if you're sure, uh, we should get down to business. Would you follow me up to the Spire Peak? Your friends are up there, and I'd like to speak with them as well. It concerns all of you. We suppose. Did we do something wrong? No, nothing like that. It's actually quite the opposite. Armion, my traceless star. This voice, it sounds just like Mom. I'll meet you above, my young Lunacore. Do be careful. Is he always this odd, Army? We're sure it's nothing. He's probably just stressed from having to do with Gala and the airship. Traceless star, falling from above. Go to the Spire's peak, Armion. Traceless star, could it really be here? Armion, something wrong? I'm fine, let's just go. Alright, um... Oh, here we go. Once again, I end an episode right before the chapter is about the end. <laughs> it's the second time this has happened now. Also, I noticed the game is a tad cut off on the right there. Um, that, that I'm going to assume that's as a result of the uh, the resol resolution change. Can I skip the... the um, I don't think I can skip the credits... If I can recognize anyone new here, is there any volume here? It doesn't really. Oh yeah, it's just really quiet. There is a credits theme. Hagrido, Roman Jones. Okay, so overall, I kind of like that story as well. I'm starting to get used to their lengths too. It does feel like a lot of them are around the same length, which is actually pretty good design for this sort of thing. I kind of hope that there's like a fifth chapter where, like, at the very end of this, all of the characters come together and do something big. That's typically how these sorts of games are structured, where you have, like, a bunch of different characters in one story, you play as them all, and all of their stories are about the same, uh, are about the same length. You know, think games like Sonic Adventure or Birth by Sleep. There's a lot of examples of that out there. I think we have two left. Um, the next story we have is The Clown. Now, I have a bit of the story, I have a bit of a story with The Clown story, um, so, I mentioned in the first episode that I tried to record this, um, like, a week ago, or I think it was, like, a couple weeks ago at this point, but, like, the game was, like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> the dev actually put my name in the special things, that's kind of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. <laughs> it's, um, so, like I was saying, um, I had an instance where, like, um, I forgot why I had to, like, re-record it, but, like, I couldn't really record the first, uh, the first story for whatever reason. I tried to record the clown story instead, and, like, the battle was just way too difficult. Like, the enemies were not, uh, balanced, and, uh, and I, like, died too easily. Um, the dev found it odd that I ran into this problem, which makes me feel that maybe I was just doing something wrong, but he said he, he, uh, he changed the battle a bit anyway, so we'll see if, uh, things are a little different there. Newgrounds? Is this game on Newgrounds? Huh. Thank you for playing the demo. If you like what we play, be sure to support the game and keep an eye out for the updates it's in the and eventually the game's full release. Feel free to try out other stories or even to replay this one. Oh, right, right, right. This game does have, um, this game does have, like, a New Game Plus thing. Okay. Should I do the New Game Plus thing? You know, I think I'm not going to do the New Game Plus thing this time. 
And the reason why is because I, I didn't really feel like it changed that much, aside from making it so like I couldn't or, or I didn't have to buy equipment. Or maybe I should. You know what? Whatever. The other reason why it doesn't really seem to matter that much- Oh! There are two hearts now. I think that's enough music for tonight. Why don't I redo a bedtime story? You always love my stories. Now then. This cutscene just feels a little different now. Yeah, and the fact that like all of the characters use different weapons too also makes it so that doesn't really matter that much. I wonder what the significance of the second heart is. Okay, so next we're doing the King's Spade. The King's Spade, the one about the King of the Ma Mas uh, Maskers, a tale of villainy, and, a be and, and best read third. Let's begin. I do like that the game subtly says that there is like a, uh, there is like a subtle order you should do it in. Yeah, so again, like the first minute of this I have seen. These soldiers look really cool, by the way. Something coming. Can't breathe. This is almost too perfect. How lovely this is. The Invincible, the world's most powerful airship, will be brought down from the inside by its own men. Hear me, whelps. I am Chuckles, Baron of Spades, and from this moment forth, your airship belongs to me. Kneel now or accept death. Your ignorance uh, begets you nothing. Oblivion awaits you. Alright. The enemies look different, too. Holy Torrent. Okay, so we're playing as a clown now. Heavy Strike and Magis Poke. Hmm. You have masks. Infect the control <clears throat> and control the target's mind? Whoever is afflicted with the smoke will attack their former allies. That- so you have a mind control skill? Hold on. Let's try it on you. Oh. So you have that- is, is that like a normal confusion or is that more like a Bebedora kind of thing? Your attack is decent. Okay, so you do not get knocked out of it. Yeah, and this right here is why I had trouble, because, like, as you can see, she, she's doing the mage, she's doing a lot of damage to me. It's not the easiest to get back, because remember, at this point, you typically don't have access to, um, you typically don't have access to potions. Let's try this again on you. See if I can confuse both of them. Huh. Was this skill in the original release of this game? Because maybe this is why I couldn't do this fight, because I, I, didn't, re I didn't notice that I had that ability. I apologize if that is the case. I guess I just, I just had you edit your game for no reason. I'm terribly sorry about that, but... <laughs> that doesn't cost that much, ma that much magic either. Yeah, we get to cast that like four times before we run out. That seems a little broken, to be honest. Skills like these can be pretty ridiculous if you know how to use them correctly. What does your normal attack look like? How do you do less damage than the mage with an axe? Well, whatever. Um. All right, I. That, was, that went a lot easier now. <laughs> Potions, pathetic creatures, learn your place in oblivion. These things aren't human, um, Humerian anymore. They are fake bodies of weakened souls attached, easy to make and fine to die. I suppose I should give you that much, Higgles. You do know how to make the perfect cannon fodder. Okay, the bombs are up, um, are, the bombs up here are set. I should head down to the engine room and set the rest of them. <clears throat> Looks like they have, uh, they, they may have left a scratch on me. If I start getting hurt in combat, I shall remember to guard. It'll let me heal just a bit. Okay, cool. Guard badge. Oh, you started with nothing. Um. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so don't optimize your equipment. Um. <laughs> 
E-type ID. I don't think I've ever seen that bug before. Um, well, that's a new... Oh, God, I'm going to have to stop the recording and start it again. Okay, um, because, like, I don't want to have to do that whole battle again. I'll see you folks in a second when I get back there. One moment. Hey, guys, check this out. There's something I noticed about this kit. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, when he gets hit, I noticed that um, he actually restores um, some magic, which is kind of interesting. Kind of like how normal characters will restore TP. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not the case. He has, like, a TP mechanic, that's what I mean. I only, I... It still messes me up that TP is called mana, and, like, Matra is your mana. I don't know. Um, in that battle, I did get a, a, a helmet, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and save, too, before the game breaks again. There we go. See, see, folks, that's why you make multiple saves when you're Let's Playing. Okay, so we got a guard badge. Okay, so don't optimize your equipment. Um, oh, that thing again. Nice. Uh, where am I? Did I not pick New Game Plus a second time? Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> Potion. Oh, and we got random encounters. Okay. Oh, this song. I, I'm turning up the volume here. I absolutely love this song. This is like my favorite song from like any RTP ever. Like, <laughs> uh oh, well, I got healed. Um. I should probably be using this more. It clear it, it seems like masks are going to be like a big uh, mechanic to them. Yeah, there we go. That that just makes things easier. Get out of here. long that uh, that status ailment lasts, however, does seem to vary quite a bit. Please kill. Thank you. Whoa, that went critical. Okay. Oh, we keep our items, but not our equipment. That's fine. A rav, a golden tail, scurries around the floor. You feel oddly content with the rat's existence. That's a save point. <laughs> You know, I do like that, like, anything can be a save point, and it's also, like, anything that, like, um, that, like, stands out. Oh. Oh, this is the way forward. I kind of want to see it was in the other direction. What a glorious noise. I only wish I could be up there to make more, um, to more personally witness their agony. Their wonderful cries uh, as their skin melts from their horrid bones, leaving one, uh, only ashes behind. What? Pure bliss. Oh, okay. Got to turn the volume down again. <laughs> Intruder detection in upper monster hole. Sky deck, uh, sky deck lockdown initiated. Well, that, uh, that's an issue. Should be switched, um, should be a switch to res uh, to resend that somewhere down here. Ready to get to looking for it. As for the, uh, the mech, I'll deal with it when I find it. We've seen two cutscenes now of this guy fighting a mech. Are we finally gonna meet that mech? Iron armor. Okay, good. I feel like I may have missed, like, an equipment or something. Um... Sounds like someone uh, found the other switch. For me, I guess I should I should thank them, assuming they survive. But that was it. Typically, it was like a mini dungeon with the other two characters. Uh. Already? Hold on a sec. We're level two. What is a Lolo flower again? That, huh. 
You know, when I saw that this game had four stories, one concern I had is that um, they were going to get shorter as we go along. I'm starting to, like, super fear now that that is what's going on here. Oh, okay, this thing looks like a mini-boss enemy. Um, let's use this and then heal up in the next turn. This seems to work on just about anything so far. I mean, it's worked on everything I've tried on without fail, so... I wonder if it works on bosses. Let's see if Defend works now. Nice, it does! Awesome! I'm glad you were able to fix that. <laughs> Hold on, maybe you're meant to play defensively, because, like, he, he brought up specifically defending, and also you have this mechanic where you can confuse an enemy. Maybe you're supposed to use these in tandem. Perhaps. It's a thought. Yeah, because he does a lot of damage otherwise. There we go. You can get knocked out of it really quickly, though. Okay, good. It's still there. We haven't tried this yet. Oh, that's the boss death animation. I guess that was, like, a mini-boss enemy. You'll sometimes see those in these sorts of games, just like enemies that are deliberately designed to take a while. Well, the game recommended I be level 3 before I do this, so let's go ahead and... I think, like, maybe two more battles might do it. I hate to have to grind. Like, I feel like this area should have been longer, unless there's something I missed. Can I go back to the elevator? Oh, you have 30, uh, you have 30 damage. Okay. I feel like this is more worth it with this enemy. You do gain a lot of magic when you take damage, though. Two more hits should do it. Thanks. Nice. Oh! Oh, not level 3 yet. Um... Can I go back up? No. Okay, so if, there's was, if there was, like, a new weapon up there... Actually, that reminds me. What kind of weapons do you use? You don't have a weapon. That's why you do so little damage. Okay. Is this the only thing you fight down here? It's starting to look that way. That's fine. Um... I'm finding it kind of interesting that you almost need to play this character defensively like this. I just kind of wish he had, like, more defense or a better way to heal, because, like, I know for a fact that I'm using more potions than the game gives you at this point. Yeah, I feel like this character or this part of the game isn't necessarily that balanced or as balanced as it should be. Yeah, you don't even have a second party member either. Smoke scan. Yeah, you always get your scan ability at level 3. All right. You do get high potions from enemies, though, so who knows? Maybe I'm just spoiling myself of all these potions. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and save and then try this fight. 
Actually, you know what? I get to, like, edit a bit, um, and when I do have to edit, the file size is usually a lot bigger, so this might be a shorter episode, but I think I'm gonna leave it off here. We'll do the boss next time. Well, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.